Hello, I'm Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We are an ideas consulting and training company that specializes in people management in complex, matrixed, virtual and global organizations. In this video, I want to talk about creating alignment, a key challenge in matrix management. The defining characteristics of a matrix organization structure is that people have multiple bosses and multiple reporting lines. Traditional organization structures had vertical reporting lines from functions and countries. As organizations became more complex, work started to cross these traditional vertical silos. For example, in working with global customers, coordinating functions across countries, or running supply chains that cut across traditional functions and geographies. Organizations added horizontal reporting lines to reflect this reality. So a person working in IT might have a vertical reporting line to their country organization, but also a line to their IT function internationally. A matrix structure looks a bit like this net. If you work within a matrix, you'll tend to have at least two bosses, two sets of objectives, and two influences on your priorities. Now imagine the impact if both legs of the matrix are pulling strongly in different directions. Because of this, a lack of alignment in goals and roles is a common problem in matrix organizations. People often experience competing and sometimes conflicting sets of objectives. So what can we do to create alignment? Part of the answer is to create clarity where we can. First, have a strong process for cascading your goals. Check that people can see how their personal goals fit into the overall strategic goals of the organization. This is sometimes called line of sight, making sure everyone is focused on the same goal. This sounds simple, but involves a lot of work, particularly in a dynamic environment where goals change regularly. Second, clarify roles. The most used process is called RACI. That's R-A-C-I. And you'll find lots of write-ups of this if you Google it. In this process, you define for each task area who's responsible, who's accountable, who needs to be informed, and who needs to be consulted. This is a useful process to use if you've had a major change or need to clarify a particularly difficult role or task, but it's extremely bureaucratic and takes a lot of time. I'd recommend you use it more by exception than to try and keep every role up to date. Third, have a clear process for escalation of conflicts. People who work at the intersection of the matrix, the middle of the net, can find it extremely challenging if they're not able to escalate conflicts to more senior managers for resolution. And managers can be reluctant to do this because they think it makes them look incompetent. So we need to find positive ways to allow escalation to happen. So creating clarity is important, but it's also a potential trap. I've met organizations who have spent two to three years following a very extensive process to try and get complete clarity on goals and roles. If it's taken so long, it's unlikely to happen after two to three years. What we find in a matrix is that not everything can be fully aligned. The nature of the matrix is that there are competing objectives, different, equally important things that need to be taken into account. So what's more important to you, the global or the local? the function or the business line? The answer will depend on the situation and the context. These are daily dilemmas that we need to manage in a matrix. We can't come up with a once and for all solution to these dilemmas. We have to build the capability to manage those trade-offs. If you think about it, if you could perfectly align your objectives and cascade them down from the top, there'd be no need for a matrix organization you could simply cascade through a traditional functional vertical organization. So it's completely normal in a matrix to have some lack of clarity. My advice is make things clear where you can, but remember, it's just as important to build the capability to manage the inevitable dilemmas and trade-offs. Now this typically means giving more information, new skills and autonomy to people in the middle of the organization where the links of the mesh meet. If you don't do this, you can expect a lot of escalation, delay, and dissatisfaction. 
To find out more about our matrix management training, together with more free videos, articles, and podcasts on matrix, virtual, and global working, please visit us at global-integration.com. Thank you for watching, and good luck.